now joined by Mohsen Milani. He's the executive director of the Center for Strategic and Diplomatic Studies and a professor of politics at the University of South Florida. Professor Milani, I really want to begin with the reaction we saw from Iran's supreme leader, Ayatollah Khamenei, breaking his silence after six days, uh, blaming enemies of Iran and not really addressing the frustration, the anger, the lack of hope in this country. What do you make of that? Well, there, uh, there have been two different reactions from the highest authorities in the Islamic Republic. Uh, one is by President Rouhani, who uh, essentially admitted that people have taken to the streets uh, because of unemployment, high rate of unemployment, rampant inflation, and most importantly, because of uh, pervasive corruption, systemic corruption in the Islamic Republic of Iran. And then Ayatollah Khamenei uh, essentially blamed uh, external forces uh, for what has happened in Iran. There is no question, absolutely no question. There is enough data, evidence, to, uh, to make the point that a lot of people in Iran are unhappy with the economic conditions. A lot of people are unhappy with uh, the maldistribution of wealth and the incredible polarization of Iranian society. And therefore, some people decided to take to the streets. What we have witnessed in the past six, months, uh, six weeks is not a revolutionary movement. It is essentially a rebellion by people who are frustrated, by people who are asking the government to address their grievances. And I believe it would be a huge mistake for the Islamic Republic for the authorities of the Islamic Republic not to recognize the grievance of the people in Iran and try to address it in one way or another. Well, where, what is the end game here? Where are these protests headed? Are we going to see more uh, people taking to the streets of Iran? Certainly the biggest display of discontent we've seen since 2009, a green movement, but this is quite different from what we saw in 2009. What we have seen uh, in the past six days is fundamentally different from the Green Movement. For one thing, it is not as huge as the Green Movement. We do have evidence, uh, aerial evidence, that more than a million people participated in 2009. But we really do not have an actual number of the people who have participated in these uh, uh, rebellions throughout the country. Most importantly, after six days of, uh, of uprising, we still do not know who leads this movement. We still not, do not know who are the people who are behind it, which suggests that perhaps a lot of people are simply frustrated and they have decided that I've had enough, I'm gonna take it to the streets. But if you look at the slogans, if you look at the slogans that, uh, of the people who have participated in those, and if you look at the socioeconomic background of the 500 or so people who have been arrested, you can see that A, most of them are about 90% of them uh, are below the age of 30, they are young. And you also can see that they have different demands and therefore they have not been able to have a coherent message. Yeah. Unlike, unlike 2009, when we had an organization behind the protest movement, when people had a specific demand, what we have seen in the past six days is that we have diverse people with different demands. And as long as they are unable to come out with a coherent message, I don't think this is going to go anywhere. Professor Milani, we're running out of time. I want to get to the reaction we've seen from this administration in the United States, from the Trump administration. We've seen a number of tweets. Um, they're also calling on Iran's uh, government to stop blocking Instagram and other popular social media sites. Are these types of messages and tweets he helpful? And if not, what should the U.S. administration be doing, if anything? I believe the best uh, course of action the Trump administration can take is to be silent about what is happening in Iran. This is exactly what President Obama did. And I know uh, the Trump administration has been very critical of what he did. But frankly, uh, if uh, there is too much, uh, if there is an evidence of intervention by the US, 
or if the perception in Iran is that the U.S. is interfering, I think it's going to backfire, and I think it's going to delegitimize an authentic uh, uprising that we have seen in Iran. All right, we'll have to leave it there. Professor Mohsen Milani, thank you so much.